And Austin's Cody Wilson from posting 3D gun blueprints online on Monday. Today, Wilson announced he'll sell them instead. Hundreds have already been ordered of the blueprints online, but KXA's political reporter Phil Prazen reports some here in Central Texas want the change in the law to stop it. Right now, someone can go online and purchase blueprints to print a gun at home. This comes after Cody Wilson announced he found wiggle room in a court order. Everyone in America who wants these files will get them. They're allowed to name their own price at our website. Uh, making the money isn't important to me. While the order bans Wilson from posting free blueprints, it does allow him to email, mail, or securely transfer the blueprints for a price. I'm happy now at this point to become the iTunes of downloadable guns if I can't be the Napster. Wilson has grabbed the attention of Congressman Lloyd Doggett, who's filed a bill to make it illegal to print an untraceable gun. And that before anyone prints one out, they have to apply and get a number to go on there so that law enforcement will always be able to trace these weapons. Doggett also hopes the Seattle judge will broaden his restraining order to include selling the blueprints. Wilson, however, says the blueprints are already out. The cat is out of the bag. What do you say to the people who say that there's just no way to stop this? They're right. All we can do is minimize the damage. A machine to make one of these guns costs around $2,000. To make an AR-15 style rifle, Wilson says that would cost more than $10,000 when it's all said and done. On the website for the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, it does say someone can make a gun at home for personal use. However, a license is required to make guns to sell or distribute. Also, it is against the law for someone to make semi-automatic rifles or shotguns from 10 or more imported parts, and it is against the law to make guns that cannot be detected by metal detectors or x-ray machines. Robert, Sydney. Well, this has been at least a five-year legal battle, so we wanted to look into how we got here today. In May of 2013, the Department of Defense forced the company that distributed the plans to take them down. Wilson ended up suing in 2015. Settlement was reached in April, and the federal agency agreed to allow the release of the group's instructions online. Wilson reposted the plans, but 19 states and the District of Columbia brought suit, bringing them temporarily down again. A hearing last month once again stopped the planned August release.